we're using now for what I feel is the ultimate setup is a sewer lid design. Now, if you see this, this is hard to do here, but this lash cap is actually floating. See right there? It has a little, uh, you see a little ledge right there, and that is what captures it. All right, so this lash cap actually fits in there, and when it's all put together on the valve, I'll show you on this SMX valve here. When it's all put together on the valve, and these are a little bit of a bugger to put together. All right here would be your normal deal. You know that would just be your normal deal like that. But this lash cap goes on, and then is. Yeah, you know, it's a little tight. There you go. The keepers come in, grab it, and keep it from going anywhere. So this lash cap can never come off. So when it's all together, you now have this nice tool steel. We use a tool steel. They'll make them in titanium, but we found that the, the tool steel ones I, I like better. This whole thing basically is one nice assembly. All right, and so all these parts have to be machined exact tolerances because you can't have this lash cap touching the the well it, it has to be right in on the valve stem but allowing the keeper to actually float because if the keeper is allowed to move up or down it's going to become unlodged come all apart so the keepers are on there super tight they're in this radial groove everything's cool and then this lash cap actually sits in there and just kind of can float real lightly but never come off never uh, never have an issue so you would want to do this on a non hardened tip valve so for for instance all the uh, stuff we do like this my smx's or 481x's or hemis whatever it is we do this all with this sewer lid style deal gives us maximum protection for the valve tip gives us maximum strength and durability okay so that's how that all holds together fits in and works to make that right now one last thing that I would tell you on all of this is um, I'm also real particular about always keeping uh, manufacturer stuff with manufacturer stuff so I don't mix and match springs isn't a big deal but I use a retainer keeper uh, lash cap combo from one manufacturer. So I get the retainers from whoever we get them from, Victories, we use a lot of their stuff. Um, wouldn't matter if it's Manly or Victory or Pack. I use a Pack retainer keeper. Uh, use a uh, Victory retainer keeper, lash cap combo, Manly, whatever. I always use those in match sets. So I don't like to mix and match just in case there's just slight little discrepancies. And then again, when you're doing this this uh, sewer lid deal, the valve stem tip has to be perfect. So from radial groove to valve stem tip has to be 0 .250. So a quarter inch is what they set these up at. If it's, too, if it's 270, you're screwed. Ain't gonna work. If it's more than that, if, or if, sorry, less than that, if it's like 220 or 230, you're screwed because then all of a sudden the the lash cap is pushing on the keepers instead of on the valve okay so all this stuff really matters really counts but this is the the current best system that that I found most durable lives through drag week does everything great through there uh, the radial groove sewer lid keeper is the best uh, if you have a hardened wafer tip lifter you'd want to use the capture locks otherwise you want to use a, uh, a standard 10 degree uh, retainer keeper combo uh, you can do a lash cap if you want uh, we'll kind of cover why you would even want a lash cap in the first place if you're not protecting the valve so let me backtrack up one more time here sorry the reason we run this lash cap like this is because we have to protect the valve if you have a in titanium 
if you have a non-hardened tip or a non uh, non lash cap uh, you will these things will last quite literally seconds uh, it will run the roller wheel of your lifter it'll just sit there and wear right through the valve stem tip go down hit your keepers push your keepers off drop the valve in very very short amount of time okay so that's why we have to have some form of lash cap uh, and we do the lash cap because this is just a better nicer more durable deal than having a hardened tip because even if I have a hardened tip in here with these capture locks I've, I've still broken that hardened tip even with a capture lock like this so my most preferable method for any application it's a little expensive but this is the best way of doing it to do the sewer lid uh, combo so if you ever need this stuff like I said I can more than happy to sell it to you set you up with what you need make sure you get all the right parts uh, match your springs and all that other stuff so anyways this is really good tech on uh, on keepers retainers and uh, the lash cap design uh, as far as a uh, titanium steel uh, tool steel uh, might be some other alloys or some other stuff out there um, obviously we're using uh, the lighter the better up here as long as it's durable so there is a little bit of a compromise in durability sometimes uh, we don't use a steel retainer nobody really uses a steel retainer uh, you can get them in like a in a, in a pack alloy or a, or a molly chromoly tool steel retainer they're pretty good um, but the titanium stuff the sewer lid really has just been the best combination that we found there are some others out there but um, this is what we found to be the best so anyways I'm Steve Morris at Steve Tech I hope you're enjoying these series if you have any questions or uh, which is what you guys are free to do if you have a question about something you're seeing here you have access send me an email I'm more than happy to answer those questions for you if you're not watching these videos you're not gonna have any questions so you're not gonna ask me so I guess I don't even have to tell you not to bother so anyways I'm Steve Morris, Steve Tech. Have a great day.